Thanks, Susan. I'm so glad to be on the on the non-tech side of a show. I've been running a lot of tech these days, and it's it's a great privilege to just be on the music making side tonight. It's a privilege tonight. to have you here. <laughs> Um, and I'm so glad that you assigned the Capote. I love that story, and um, it was really nice to revisit it. I actually ended up reading it aloud to Phil, to my husband, um, which um, is pretty tricky to get through without sobbing at the end, I will tell you. So um, uh, I, w I came very close to getting through it. Um, and the, the Dylan Thomas is really wonderful, too, and I love those two pieces together. They, they have, like, a kinship, I felt like. Um, you know, there's a certain not just nostalgia but a certain kind of like exile feeling from this childhood country and the things that when you're seven or six seem like they've happened forever when maybe they've only happened a few times to the to the adults around you but that it's this like you know eternal snow or christmas or or, or whatever um so my song is like 90 percent capote and like 10 percent dylan thomas Specifically, this line. This is from the Dylan Thomas. Auntie Hannah, who had got onto the parsnip wine, sang a song about bleeding hearts and death, and then another in which she said her heart was like a bird's nest. Never received a telegram ate in a restaurant wished someone harm my friend is shy with everyone scrapbook strangers her truest friends my bleeding heart is like a kite Try to get another one There's never two of anything When Buddy died She was a child I am her Buddy now She's still a child What we have seen Think of that shine I could leave the world with this day in my eyes. My bleeding heart is like a bird's nest. The hummingbird that dwells within will balance on her fingertips. Try to get another one There's never two 